Happy New Year. Happy 2017. I am here at Ipsy Open Studios today to film my first best of 2016 subject that I want to cover is skincare because it's the easiest for me. It's the easiest thing. Those are like go-to products, things that I know that I love and that I used all year. Everything else, I'm kind of gathering my thoughts and trying to figure out what those products are for me because there was a lot of makeup that came out this year. 2016 was a year of crap and makeup. Lots of new products out there, but I found some holy grail skincare products and it was really easy for me to pick these. So I'm gonna share those with you today. Remember skincare is something that's very specific to each person. So something that works for me might not work for you. So definitely that's something that you wanna pay a little bit more attention to or else you can possibly buy a product that wouldn't work for you and that you wouldn't like it. And then you'd be like, hey Bethany, why'd you tell me that I, you like this product? It sucks. And I'll be like, girl, you got oily skin. I don't. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's just get going. My first product, which is like, oh, I need to like edit light shining into this as an angel because I am obsessed with this product. This is the Pixi Glow Tonic. Um, I got this in January at Gen Beauty. And as you can see, it is like down to here. This is like the giganto size, but I, this is my heart. Like I am obsessed with this product. This is an exfoliating toner and it's something that anyone can use. So it doesn't matter what type of skin you have. If you do have sensitive skin, um, I would use this a little less, like maybe every other other day or maybe three times a week. I use this pretty much every other day. Sometimes I use it two days in a row, depending on what my skin is like. It's gentle enough to use for any skin type, but what it does for me is it's called glow tonic and I honestly feel like that's what it does. I feel like when I wake up, my skin is glowing and smooth and this is just me. I don't know if anybody else has had this experience, but I also feel like it kind of is better for my wrinkles. I don't know if any of you guys have wrinkles, but I do have wrinkles. And I feel like on my forehead when I use it, I don't know, it, I feel like my skin is a little bit more plump, if that makes sense. And nobody wants to be plump except for in your wrinkles. Let's be real there. I just think that this is a great gentle toner to use that really exfoliates dead skin away and keeps your skin glowing and smooth. I don't know if you can buy the big size anymore, but I have two big sizes and they sell like a smaller size at Target. So I haven't had a chance to talk about this, but I've been using this for about seven months. This brand is called Body Mary. This is the vitamin C exfoliating cleanser. It smells really amazing. It smells kind of orangey, obviously vitamin C, but not strong, not like a fake scent. It's like very organic. This is a brand off of Amazon. That's where I brought it from. I know they have a store on Amazon. They have the best customer service ever. I'm just gonna read what this has. Um, this has 10% vitamin C, jojoba beads, plus MSM, rose hip oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, and tea tree oil, which tea tree oil is like the best thing ever. So this is just made up of a lot of really great stuff and it's an awesome brand that's kind of like a smaller indie brand, I would say. You're not gonna find this at Sephora or anything. When I bought this product, they sent me an email, like as soon as I bought it, with like instructions on how to use it, when to use it, um, what it does for you. Like if you have any questions, please let us know. We're here to help. If you need any other product recommendations, I was like so impressed impressed by that because I mean like who does that it was like an adorable graphic and I was like oh okay I can use this every day it's gentle it exfoliates your skin but it's also a cleanser so it's wiping all the dirt away but it's also wiping all the dry skin away the dead skin vitamin C is really great for anti-aging and for a lot of stuff in your skin if you haven't done any research on it you should vitamin C and hyaluronic acid are two things that I look for in products so this has vitamin C in it but it's not too strong to where you can't use it every day because sometimes when you use a lot of vitamin C, you have to be careful when you go in the sun because you can burn a little bit easier. Tea tree oil is great for acne, for breakouts, for clearing your pores out. So this is just an altogether amazing product. I love this. The beads in there are jojoba beads and they're really gentle. So they're not those really hard beads that like can scratch your skin and actually be really damaging for you. They're very soft beads that just kind of like melt away. So these are good beads. You wanna stay away from bad beads. The next product that I have here is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This is another holy grail product for me. This is a high-end product. This is definitely more expensive than the other two that I've named so far, but it is worth it. 
I would say this is my favorite product in the entire line of Dermalogica. They recently came out with a super foliant, which is very similar to this and I'm trying, which could very easily replace that, but I use this all year. It's a rice powder that is activated with water and you use it as a, it's like a polish, honestly. It's like a skin polish. You really work it into a paste and then you rub it all over your skin. Not only does it exfoliate, but it plumps and tightens and smooths your skin and it just gives your skin such a smooth finish. I. I use it to get rid of texture, and whenever I'm done with it, my skin just feels nice and tight but not dry, and it's really, really smooth. So this is my go-to exfoliator that I use usually about two to three times a week in the shower. I like to rotate it with the tonic, but sometimes I use them together depending on how dry my skin is. All right, so I'm gonna hit a few moisturizers next. I'm gonna cover a day one and a night one. So my day moisturizer that I have been obsessed with this entire year and definitely like award winner for me is like my go-to daily moisturizer is the Glam Glow Glow Starter. I have a video on this, so I'm going to link it somewhere here so that you can go watch it. It was kind of like my review first impressions of it. And I actually got to attend an event where I got to try this before it was released. And I knew that I would fall in love with it there because I was obsessed with it, but I didn't know how much I would end up really, really using it like every single day. As someone who works a nine to five job like all year, I don't wear like a ton, a ton of makeup when I go to work normally. I like to use this because it was amazing to use underneath like a tinted moisturizer or just with concealer. And it really hydrated my skin, but gave me, it's literally glowing. It's just a really easy, soft moisturizer. It's not super thick or anything like that. It's not a serum. It's not oily at all. So you can use this if you do have oily skin. It's just a really great basic moisturizer that has a really pretty glow to it. I feel like it preps my skin. It kind of primes my skin. It, and it's the perfect daily moisturizer for me because it's enough to moisturize my skin but not over or under moisturize it if that makes sense I don't like to use a really thick moisturizer when I'm gonna put on makeup or put anything on because I feel like it has that kind of like layer thick layer over my skin so this does not do that for me it sinks in really well and it gives a really pretty gorgeous glow and if you like glowing like I do like I know we all do this is such a great base for you and it smells heavenly it smells so good I think it's a little bit on the pricier side obviously I will include the price here but um, it's worth it and I mean, I'm telling you, I've used it all year. Your guys are gonna die how much I have left. That's how much I have left, a whole bunch. Like it goes all the way down. Oh my God, I love it. So the next moisturizer, which I mostly like to use at night um, or just when I, my skin needs a little bit of help is the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm. So this is supposed to increase your hydration level in your face by 18%. And I got this at Gen Beauty and I have been obsessed with it ever since. That was in January of last year. So I've been using it for a long time. This is another product that is a little, goes a long way. Look how much I have left. I'm telling you, I use this like nightly. Can you see it? Can you see it? I don't even know if you can see it, if it's too bright. But it's about halfway gone and I've been using it for almost a year now. So it spreads, it's like a gel-like consistency, so it spreads a lot. You don't need a lot of product. This is one of those products where you go to bed with dry skin, if you have dry skin, and you wake up and it's like it was never there. It really, really, really sinks into your skin and it really moisturizes and hydrates your skin if you have like dry patches. I like to use this at night. I use it mostly nightly unless I wanna switch it up and use a different product. But this just keeps your skin nice and hydrated. Even if you have oily skin, your skin can be dehydrated. So remember that. If you're not drinking enough water or you're taking a lot of moisture out of your skin. It's another reason why I also like it is because I use a lot of exfoliating products which can take the moisture out. And so I like to put it back in with this. It's one of my favorites I've ever used. Another thing that I have been using for almost a full year now is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I got this at Gen Beauty as well. And I still have a ton of it left. But this is something I like to use about once a week and it's for when I really wanna put that moisture back into my skin. You can buy this at Target as well. And it's kind of the same thing except this is a mask. So it's a night mask that you put on when you go to sleep and when you wake up in the morning, you wash it off. But this is kind of one of those, another one of those products that's heavy duty that we are like, okay, my skin is super dry. I have something to do tomorrow or I want you know to get rid of this dry patch. And if you use this a couple times in a week, it will really rehydrate your skin and revamp it. So that you can get back to kind of like normal, good, not dry skin. It's a really nice cooling gel too. It's like that gel filling, so it feels really good when you put it on at night. I love the way it feels, and sometimes I even put it in the refrigerator for a little bit if I really wanna like 
make my skin feel nice. I wanna talk about a few sprays because it's really hard for me to choose one, so I'm kind of giving it to all three of these. I've talked about the Antioxidant Hydra Mist from Dermalogica. This is really great because it's like a face mist on steroids. It really helps to lock in the moisture and lock in a lot of the skincare benefits that you're using. It kind of forms a barrier on your face that blocks out sun, blocks out all the gross stuff in the air, and blocks out grime, and it really, really locks that in. So I really love the way it feels on my face, and this is probably my favorite Matte, or my favorite mist ever because of that. It's kind of it has that anti-aging in it. It's an amazing skincare brand, so it really has those added benefits other than just a face mist. But I, how can I talk about face mist without mentioning Fix Plus? and the Mario Badescu Rose Spray. I like these for different things. The Fix Plus I use in my makeup a lot when I wanna refresh my makeup, when I wanna wet my brush, when I want my highlighter to show up better. This is an amazing makeup spray, so that's what I use this for. I pretty much only use it when I'm doing my makeup, and um, it has a really, lot of really great ingredients to help kind of make your makeup amped up a little bit, and I know everybody really loves this, but I have to mention it. And I have this little baby one, Mario Badescu for travel. This is the rose spray. I use this to refresh my face a lot. So I use it after workouts, I use it before I put my makeup on when I really want to kind of like calm my skin, if it's irritated, if it's being a little bit sensitive to something. I like to use this to either help calm my skin or to revitalize my skin when it's irritated or when I've you know worked out or just taken my makeup off. This has aloe and rose water, which really help to calm your skin. It's really great for you if you have sensitive skin, but it's also awesome for everybody. So I also love this. I use it not really for makeup as much, but just for my actual skin. Last three products um, I'm going to talk about is the first one is the Dermalogica Charcoal Rescue Mask. I know this was the year of the mask as well. Like all the Instagram videos, all the masks, all the peel offs, all the different things. I haven't tried every mask out there, but I can tell you that I know that out of all the ones I've tried, the Charcoal Rescue Mask is my absolute favorite. This is another kind of high end skincare brand. It costs a little bit more money, but I still have a lot left. This a little goes a long way with these things, I'm telling you. And the Charcoal Rescue Mask really, really has saved my skin in times when I needed it when I had a lot of texture, when I had a lot of like breakouts, when I, I use this when I'm PMSing and I get a breakout. This stuff cleans the grime off of my face so much to where when I'm done, I honestly feel like my skin is the smoothest it's ever been, especially combined with a lot of these other products, which I obviously combine them with. But it really, really absorbs the impurities in your skin and I can really see that. It just feels the freshest my skin has ever been after a mask. Like when I take it off, I just really feel like this is my pure skin. This is what it is. It's smooth. There's nothing on the surface. It really cleans my pores out. And a lot of masks do an amazing job, a lot of different things. But for me, this is like the mask of all masks. It's heavy duty. The other thing that I like about this is that it has charcoal and sulfur in it, which help to um, turn the skin over. So when you get new skin, it's your the skin cells are coming to the surface and that's what makes your skin like young and plump because when you're young, they come to the surface a lot faster than when, they're, when you're older. So this really helps skin turnover. So it helps it plump up faster than if you're getting, especially if you're getting a little older like me, like me. The charcoal also helps to exfoliate. I know we have a lot of exfoliating products here, but this does do a little bit of exfoliation as well. So I love this mask. I usually use it about one to two times a week. I would say if you're oily, you can use it a little bit more. If you're dry, keep it at one to two times as well. Um, there's no need to like overdo this if you're dry because if you're dry, I think this might be a little too strong for you to use it more than one to two times a week. It's, you can still use it. Don't get me wrong. It's for all skin types, but I would say if you are dry or combo like me, I would keep it down to like one to two times. All right, last but not least are eye creams. I have just recently gotten to eye creams. I'm gonna name two here that I love this year. The Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Firm is amazing. I use this in the mornings, right before I do my makeup because this has a plumping agent to it. It's anti-aging, but it also firms your skin. So when you use it on your eyes, it plumps and firms out your wrinkles. Nobody likes wrinkles, nobody likes eye wrinkles. So this is really great for concealer and it's a really great product to have as a makeup artist. That's actually how I used it first, was I used it as a makeup artist because it was the first thing I would put on a, on a client when it comes to skincare because it would really help plump and smooth their under eye for the concealer application. So I have used this all year. This is I think my second bottle or second thing. Um, but this is 
This is great for the mornings and this is great to use before makeup applications. I don't use it at night though. The one that I use at night is the Joanna Vargas Revitalizing Eye Cream. I've had this for about five months so I haven't had it the whole year but I have been using it nonstop ever since I got it. You can use this in the morning or at night. I use it both because it's very moisturizing. It's revitalizing and it illuminates your under eye is what it's supposed to do and I really think that it does that. It's also a restorative eye cream so it's really great if you have sun damage or if you have lines or you really want to revitalize your under eyes because they you know, have seen a little wear and tear, it's got a hydrating agent and it's got hyaluronic acid in it, which is gonna help retain the moisture in your eyes. Because I know a lot of people's under eyes gets very dry and crepey and nobody wants that. Hopefully your eyes don't get as dry and you don't get those lines in your under eyes. If you use this, personally it's really helped my concealer application, especially combined with the multivitamin power form. So I really like this product, it's newer, I know that. All right, so that wraps up my 2016 best of skincare, but I did wanna mention two products, that's one, this is two, that's four, I don't know what I'm talking about, two products that I just started using but I'm loving so far, I just haven't used them enough to call them the best of 2016. And I will tell you what those are. The first one is the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. And I am loving this for makeup prep because it is almost like a primer. I'll show you what it looks like. So it looks like kind of like a primer, but it's not quite as thick or jelly-like. It still has like that kind of moisturizer capability. I bought this with a gift card back in uh, November, I think it was, and it just was appealing to me. I really like the packaging. I really like the color, and I liked the idea of hydro blur. I mean, I would love to blur stuff out. So it's very similar to the Benefit Professional Primer and the fact that when you put it on, it really blurs your face out. It kind of like smooths everything out. It's not quite as powerful as the um, professional one, but this is also a moisturizer. So you could put this on, it's gonna blur your face out, and then you could still use a primer on top of it. Or if you're not a primer fan, you can just use that as a primer. So I'm really loving that so far. Definitely an honorable mention for the year. And I will continue to use that in 2017. So, um, so far I'm really liking it. Another uh, product, which I am just loving all of Pixi skincare, but this one specifically is one that's like shot up to the top of my list. This is the Hydrating Milky Serum, and it comes in a dropper like this. So it looks like milky. I'm just gonna leave that it looks milky, cause it's, yeah, it's, as you can see. Yeah, it's a milky serum, so that's why it looks kind of murky, milky, white color. But it's really great because I like to use this like when I'm not wearing makeup and I just wanna add a little bit of hydration into my face. It says revitalizing skin boost, that's exactly what it does. I really feel like it gives my skin a nice boost that I need, especially if I've already put my moisturizer on or I've already done all my skincare. I really like to put this on just to kind of give it a nice little boost. It smooths everything out. It really sinks into the skin really well because it's like a, it's like a serum, but it's nice and milky. I can't stop saying milky. It's a milky serum, that's exactly what it is, but it really, because it's a serum, it really sinks into the skin very quickly and gives your skin a nice boost. So definitely, you know, on the honorable mention, I just haven't been using it for long enough to know if this is like best of 2016. That's it, I hope you guys enjoyed my best of skincare for 2016. Like I said, I'm a skincare junkie, so I loved exploring all the skincare products out there. There's a lot of amazing products that I didn't mention that I also loved, that I use a lot, but these are like, this is it. This is the top, this is the top of the top. This is Mount Everest of skincare. I have a spit in my mouth everywhere. These are the greats of 2016. If you have any questions about any of these products, please let me know in the comments. I would be happy to answer in detail for you. If you have never used them, if you're thinking about buying them, please let me know. I will also make sure to link the actual products to buy in the down bar as well. So if you don't wanna search for them, just head down to the down bar and click the link. You can buy them online. All of my social media will also be down there. So if you wanna follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, you know the deal. Click down there, you'll be able to see all of my information. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching. I'm so excited to start 2017 on my channel and really explore where I can go with this and what I can do and make new, fun, and exciting content. So if you have any ideas for me, always let me know. I love hearing your ideas and what you guys think. Thank you so much for making 2016 such a success for me. I had so much fun getting to know all you guys and cheers to 2017. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. I will definitely be hanging out with you very soon in a new video. Thanks guys, bye.